Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Soul Power People Solar MOOC Problem Set Number One Exercise Number One Solution. My name is Richard Stovall, and I'm going to walk you through this. Okay, so in Exercise One, we have uh, a home is located in a town in the valley of a mountainous area at an elevation of 5,280 feet above sea level. To the south is a 25-mile wide cliff mountain ridge that runs east to west with an elevation of uh, 11,500 feet above sea level. Okay, the latitude of the town is 40 degrees north latitude, and at 4 p.m. on December 21st, the solar altitude angle is at 6 degrees, and shading is just beginning to occur at the site. Okay, so the question is, how far is the home from the base of the mountain? And you're expected to choose the closest answer. Uh, 6220, uh, 23,213, 59,179 feet, or 43,978. <clears throat> okay, so in order to solve this problem, you're going to need to know a little bit about uh, trigonometry. Um, and you're going to need to uh, know uh, that the uh, sine of the angle theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, and that the cosine of the angle theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the uh, tangent of the angle of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Okay, that's the Sokatoa uh, mnemonic. So, um, which function do you use? Well, it depends. It depends on what you're solving for and what you already know. Okay? So, you must know three things in order to use this function. You need to know the, uh, the angle of theta, um, you need to, need to know the length of one side, and you also need to know which side you're trying to solve for. So, um, we can extract two of these knowns uh, from the problem, okay? Uh, the first is uh, uh, utilizing the, uh, the, um, the altitude above sea level of the two different locations, um, you can determine what the length of uh, a side is going to be. And uh, the second is uh, the angle theta, which is the solar altitude angle, which is provided for you in the problem at six degrees. Okay? So the first part. Um, so we know that the mountain ridge is 11,500 feet above sea level. And we know that the town is 5,280 feet above sea level. So if we subtract the uh, altitude of the town from the altitude of the mountain ridge, uh, then we get the length of the opposite side of the triangle that you're trying to, uh, to solve for, and that is 6,220 feet. Okay? So the other known, as I mentioned, we already know, and that is the angle theta. It was provided for you in the problem, and it is 6 degrees. Solar altitude angle is 6 degrees uh, means that the angle theta is 6 degrees. So, so based on that, um, we, we know the length of the opposite side, we know the angle theta, and um, uh, because we're trying to determine the shadow length, that is the adjacent length, the distance from here to the, the base of the mountain here, um, we know that we need to use the tangent function, which is the tangent of the angle theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So this is what it looks like. Um, so solving for the adjacent side, we see the tangent of the angle theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which means that the tangent of 6 degrees is equal to 6,220 over the adjacent. Okay? So I'm going to jump out of the spreadsheet here and jump into a calculator and show you how easy it is to determine the tangent of 6 degrees. You just type in 6, and then you hit 10, and there you have it. It is 0 0.10510423 on and on. So going back into here, we can see that 0 0.10510424 is equal to 6,220 over the adjacent. So to solve for the adjacent, we just uh, 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 move things around algebraically, and we see that the adjacent is equal to 6,220 over 0 0.10510424, which means that the adjacent side has a length of 59,179 feet. Okay? Compare against our available answers, and lo and behold, 
59,179 feet. However, we're not done. <laughs> we're just beginning. This is just the first part of the problem. You now know the horizontal distance of the shadow from the mountain to the home. However, the question is asking you, how far is the home from the base of the mountain? Because the time of day is something other than solar noon, it means that the sun's shadow path is coming at a, uh, from an angle that is other than due south which means that the distance to the base of the mountain is going to be shorter than the length of the shadow, okay? And you'll see that here in a minute. So how do you solve for the distance to the mountain? Uh, again, you need to identify uh, the knowns and then use trig to solve for the other side. So um, here we're looking at it uh, from the top down. Um, this is the base of the mountain, okay? This is the town or house, um, and this is the shadow length. The sun's rays are coming over, they're hitting the top of the mountain, and this is the shadow length, the horizontal shadow length all the way to, to the town. And you can see the distance from the town to the base of the mountain is considerably shorter than the shadow length at this time of day. So um, how do we solve for that? Okay, so we know the hypotenuse is 59,179. So now we need to figure out what that angle theta is so that we can then solve for the adjacent. And the way to do that is to find a sun path chart for 40 degrees north latitude. And uh, there's a hint. You'll find it in the back of the Dunlop text, photovoltaic systems, if you have it. You can also find one on the web. Um, and I believe it's also on the, uh, the CD or DVD that's in the back of the Dunlop text as well. So looking at this chart, we see, okay, 4 p.m., Going down to the winter solstice, which is December 21st, uh, we can see that we have a, a sun altitude angle of 6 degrees, so that checks out. Um, and we have an azimuth angle of about negative uh, uh, 53, okay? Um, and we can use the absolute value for that angle, so it's a positive 53 here. So now we have the two things that we need. Um, uh, well, the three things, actually, that we need to solve for this distance. We have the length of one side, we have the angle theta, and we know which side we're solving for, okay? So we have the hypotenuse, and we're solving for the adjacent. So then, which, uh, which of the trig functions do you think we should use? Well, the answer is the cosine. So the cosine of the angle theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, okay? Using this function, we can determine what the adjacent length is. And to do that, the cosine of the angle theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which means that the cosine of 53 degrees is equal to the adjacent over 59,179. And again, going into our calculator, we can see 53, and then the cosine symbol gives us 0 0.601815, etc. So um, plugging that in. We see 0.60181 is equal to uh, the adjacent over 57,179. Uh, multiplying both sides, actually I have a little uh, typo in here. It's 57, it should be 59. Um, so uh, 0.60181 times 59,179 is equal to 35,614 feet, and that's the length of the adjacent side. So uh, the closest answer is answer D, which is uh, 43,978 feet. Now I want to point out it's not our intent to cause confusion by making the actual answer so far away from the correct selection. Um, this was actually a result of a misread of the sum path chart when we were creating the question. Uh, we will correct it in future versions of the problems. Uh, however, you know, if you follow the instructions to the letter, you will still get the correct answer doing it this way. Um, so at this point, uh, the next steps will be that uh, I will reproduce this question in a different format with different variables and post it as part of the uh, feed in the daily newsletter for day three. Um, I will also post in the newsletter a helpful link to the Khan Academy, which has a great tutorial on trigonometry, um, and, a, and also a link to uh, a really great article in Solar Pro from uh, Ken Gardner on intero spacing. And, uh, uh, now it's your turn. Um, I would like you, as Solar MOOC, 
uh, participants uh, to rewrite the question in a different way. Go in and change up the variables. Don't worry so much about creating answers uh, to choose from. Just, just create the question and feed it back to the group. And we'll take it and, uh, and process it, and uh, we'll all learn from it. Uh, remember to utilize the, uh, uh, the, the pound solar MOOC. Get the hashtag. And uh, uh, one last thing, the helpful mnemonic I wanted to share to you, SOKATOA. Um, uh, this is something I learned from my 80-year-old trick teacher, which made it hilarious. Uh, some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. <laughs> Hopefully that will help you uh, remember it the way it's helped me remember it. Anyway, signing off. Thank you.